Mark. All right, settle. Me, Mark. Waiting for this plane quick, or whatever it is. Skytrain. Star Wars plane. Did you ever get to talk to her before she passed? She made it to uh, the ICU, but she was in a coma and the oh, dark. Right. Oh, she was a good take. Do we lose everything on that? No, just yeah, we should take it from the top for sound. Do we lose everything from that? We didn't lose everything. Just for sound. Uh, whatever you guys call it, whatever you want to do. Okay, we're gonna. I'll go from the, the one from the top. We'll yeah. Go from the top. You know, we we had filled out our wills before she passed away, and we put a letter in there to each other in case one of us died suddenly. And um, I've just never been able to. That. Yeah, yeah. When I was alone with her in the hospital, I took her hand and I told her we're back there at that sunset and we're listening to that Take it from the hospital. Ready? Yeah. Pinky swear? Really? What's that? Oh. Yeah. What's that? So you up and I go, what's that? Oh, okay. <laughs> what's that? Pinky Sorry. swear. Sorry. Oh, that was so good. Oh, yes. Darn it, that was a good one. Have you ever talked to anyone about losing her? Uh, no, I, I, I probably should have, but uh, no, I never have. We, uh, we made out our wills a couple months before Debbie passed away, and uh, we put in a letter to each other in case one of us died suddenly. And, um, you know, I've never been able to open her letter that she wrote me. Why? You know, uh, I love that woman, and uh, I love talking to her. And I feel like if I open that letter, um, it'll be like the final conversation that we ever have, and I'm just not ready for that. She died in a car accident, right? Yeah. Did you have a chance to talk to her before she passed? Well, she made it to the ICU, and then the, the doctor, they tried to help her. She was in a coma, and they just, there was nothing they could do for her, and, but her vital signs kept going. She had a tiny little thing, but just so strong. And um, I cleared everybody out of the room, and I brought in G and Demetra, and I had them say their final goodbyes. And then it was just her and I alone in the room. I talked about the, the first date that we ever went on. We went to this, this Latin music festival and then afterwards we watched the sunset. And she said, do you want to get up and tango? And I said, you know, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, but I did and uh, it was horrible. And she said to me, you know, if you ask me out on a couple more dates, I'll teach you how to do this. <laughs> I said, sure. So every year we would go back there for our anniversary and we would we would dance and you know and enjoy the sunset. When we were there in the hospital I I um I took her hand and, and I told her we were back at that sunset dancing. And I told her, I said, hey, you know uh When two people dance, it's okay if one of their hands slips away. Because, uh, you know, dancers always come back together, their hands join again when they finish that dance. I said to Debbie, 
It's okay if your hand slips away from mine. Just keep staring at that sunset and it'll set. And a moment later, I told her the sun will rise. And I'm telling you, Faith, when the sun rises, oh man, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. I told her we're gonna be back together again. And, and uh, we're gonna finish that dance and we'll be together forever. And then more than a minute or so, and I, I could feel her hand slip away and, and, and then she was gone. How did you ever get through that? I never prayed so hard in my life. Were you always that religious? I don't know what you would call it. A casual Christian, that's what I would call myself. Somebody who went to church every so often, you know, prayed every so often, took his kids to Sunday school every so often, but I told God if, if he could get me through that, you know, I would, I would never be, I would never be casual about being a Christian again. So that's why you pray all the time? Mm-hmm. Anyway, ugh, I don't know, how do we get off of all this? We got some dancing to do here. Why don't we take one last run through and see what we got? Jimmy, I know you miss her, okay? You are gonna see her again. You are gonna have that final dance with her. And whenever that day comes, however far off it is in the future, you're gonna be ready for that dance, Jimmy Hope. <laughs> and if you would do me the honor, I would love to be the one who gets you ready for that dance. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I missed a lot of those steps. I don't know, are you sure you can train me? I promise I can.